Hello friends! Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let you know I have a brand new vlog channel over at Pixie Sticks Vlogs. If you've enjoyed my vlog content in the past, please feel free to click the link in the description and it'll take you right there if you want more of that content. I appreciate your support! Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to have a little fun with magic. Lately I've been playing a lot of The Sims 4 Realm of Magic game pack and it's been really fun. <laughs> In the game you can have a spellcaster and create all kinds of potions and fly on brooms and use wands and have magic duels and all that fun stuff that comes along with being a spellcaster. And since this month, my patrons voted to have magic as the theme for our monthly sticker sheet, I thought it would be really fun to create a bonus sticker of my own spellcaster from The Sims 4, and that will be a bonus standalone sticker for anyone who pledges as my patron before the end of September. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I hope you enjoy! So if you didn't know, I'm a pretty big Sims fan. I've been playing The Sims since the original game came out in the year 2000, I believe. So yeah, 19 years of The Sims playing. <laughs> Up until I discovered digital drawing, it was my number one hobby. And I admit that now that I draw so much, it has kind of fallen to the wayside a little bit but I still play it every time I get the chance and get a free moment, and it's still really fun. So in order to test this new game pack, I made a brand new sim, and she happened to start out as a spellcaster. Her name is Aspen Briarly, and she wound up marrying the blonde guy from the trailer you just saw, and they have a cute little daughter together, and her name is Eris. And yeah, I'm having a great time playing their family and working on getting their magic spellcasting skill up to the highest levels. When it came time to draw her, I decided to draw her without her scar that runs down the left side of her face, just because I knew I would be giving these stickers away to other people and this makes her a little less specific and more of just a general spellcaster in my mind than a specific character of mine. <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way, but that's just what I decided. I took inspiration for her pose from some screenshots I took in-game, which is a really useful trick if you play The Sims 4 or even some of the older versions of The Sims. Along with providing inspiration, it can also provide a good reference, both for The Sims themselves and also for environments. I know I've been working on an interior drawing before and it's been really helpful to build kind of a set in The Sims and place the camera where I would want basically your view to be once I'm done with the artwork and then take a few screenshots and use those as references for when I'm drawing my background. Speaking of references, oh my gosh, this perspective of this pose with her hand coming forward like that, that was really difficult. Luckily I was able to get my daughter to pose with her arm forward like that so that I could see how the arm would look when it was so foreshortened. I think it came out looking really cool and I'm excited by that because foreshortening is really hard for me <laughs> and I know it's hard for a lot of other artists too and reference is the number one way to get through that. <laughs> it was really helpful to have the screenshots of my character open while I worked on this, both for the pose and for the colors. It took some of the pressure away knowing I didn't have to choose a color scheme because it was all right there for me. That's about all I had to say about the artwork itself, so while we watch the speed paint, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I decided to create a separate vlog channel. I posted a video recently asking for your opinion on whether or not I should keep vlogs here on this channel or stop them all together or move them to a different channel and it just made sense I think to move them to a different channel. I talk a little bit about this in the first vlog that I already posted over there on that channel but basically I found myself 
not having enough art related content in my vlogs to feel like I could post them on my art channel and so it meant my vlogs were a lot less lengthy than my art videos and people didn't seem to enjoy watching them as much so I felt like I was maybe trying to speak to two different audiences at once. Having my personal vlogs moved to a different channel allows me to be more open with the types of content I put in there, including more from my personal life that isn't art related, which I do like adding sometimes so that I can go back and watch those and remember them later. Also, since it's not my main focus, having my vlogs on a separate channel allows me to hopefully put more time into creating two videos a week for my art channel here. My plan is to alternate digital and traditional artwork since I know that people tend to like both and I also love doing both and this way I can ensure that I work on both just about equally. <laughs> I'm really excited for this new change in my channel and I hope that it will help my momentum going forward. We are at 950 subscribers as I record this voiceover and at 1000 subscribers I plan to do a giveaway so stay tuned for that. I will be announcing those details as soon as the milestone is reached. So here's what the final sticker looks like all printed out and what it looks like next to the magic sticker sheet that will be mailed out to my patrons. This sticker sheet and special bonus sticker are only available for those who pledge to my Patreon by the end of September. If you like them, please consider pledging. I'll put a link to that in the description box below as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye friends.